Remember, might feel far away, but campaigning is underway for the candidates hoping to be Aiken County's next sheriff. There are four people in the running, one Democrat and three Republicans. Current Sheriff Michael Hunt plans to retire after more than 20 years in office. Every Monday here, we're going to profile a different candidate for Aiken County Sheriff. So News 12's Taylor Martin sat down with candidate Stuart Prettle today. Stuart Prettle hung up his law enforcement hat, but now he says he's headed back to Aiken County if he gets your vote. I've lived there for 35 years. I love the county. I love the people. And I'm just watching crime go up and up and up. He says the crime led him back. I'm hearing people complain constantly about break-ins and nothing is being done about crack houses, drugs everywhere. And I just felt a calling to come back. And on his agenda, prioritizing your safety. When you start enforcing the law, the criminals will start being afraid of the police once again. And once they're afraid, they are afraid of going to jail. This activity is going to either cease and desist or it's going to be cut down drastically. Getting a narcotics division in the Aiken County Sheriff's Office. Got to bring in narcotics agents, undercover narcotics agents, and tell them where the hot spots are and go make cases and start kicking in doors, closing down these drug operations and start arresting the people. And creating a home at work by empowering our deputies. That will help them in their professional development. I would take, they have 30 pounds on their gun belt. Take that weight off your gun belt and put it in a load bearing vest. It will save them. It will save their backs. It will save their health. But of all four candidates, why him? Because I feel that uh, uh, being a sheriff and running for sheriff is a calling. You've got to be very, you have to have great communication skills. You've got to be able to go and talk to the public. You've got to go to council meetings. You've got to be out there. And we will put that full interview on our website, WRDW.com. And we are reaching out to all of the candidates to profile each one.